Hey guys, welcome back. So today on this video, we are talking about iPhones and more specifically, I'm going to go through the steps you need in order to use the find my iPhone function. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is going to be a really short video. There's not really a lot of steps involved with this, actually a pretty quick process. I encountered this because I lost my phone at the gym, or at least I thought I lost the phone. So this is the first time I ever used this function. Pretty neat actually. So I always thought find my iPhone is an app, which it is, but basically what happened is I, I lost my phone in the gym. I went to the front desk, they let me use a browser, and I just went to Google, clicked on the search, find my iPhone. Once I was here, then the Apple specific web page pops up right here. Let me go and click on there now. All right, once you click there, then the screen pops up. Now I wanna let you know, you guys will need your Apple ID in order to be able to log in on the web browser. You can use any web browser that you want. You can use any computer that you want. And basically you pull up this website right here. Be sure to check my video description. I'll try to leave a referral link there. But basically once you get here to this website, you wanna scroll down until you see this blue line right here called locate your device on iCloud. I'm gonna click there now. All right, once you click here, then it's gonna bring up the find my iPhone web browser browser screen. This is going to help you find your iPhone because you can make alerts on your iPhone and that way if it's lost somewhere in the local building, you'll be able to hear it. And all you do is add in your Apple ID. Mine is my email address. Yours might be something different, but the only Apple IDs I've ever seen are email addresses. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my Apple ID now. All right, I went ahead and entered in my email address to my Apple ID. You can choose this button right here, keep me signed in. I would not recommend that, especially if you lost your phone and you're using someone else's phone or you're using someone else's else's computer. Go ahead and click on this arrow right here next. I'm going to click there now. All right, next you will need to enter in your password to your Apple ID. I'm going to enter mine off screen now. All right, guys, once you've logged in, then you're going to see a map of your general area and you can pinpoint where each device was last seen. So as you can see, here is my iPhone right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that iPhone now. All right, I went ahead and clicked on there. And then once you've clicked on it, then you have a couple of different options for that particular device. So the first of which is really useful is you can track where that device is. So again, when I was in the gym, I logged in there. I could see exactly where my phone was, which was real convenient. Luckily, I just kind of left it on a piece of equipment. No one actually tried to steal it. But even if they did, it, as long as the phone is on, it would track to see where it's at. So here's the functions that you can use. So you can go ahead and erase your iPhone if you feel like you're not going to get your iPhone back and you have sensitive data on there. You can also lock your phone right here and then track it here on lost mode. And then lastly, you can go ahead and click right here and play a sound. So again, if you're like me and you left it in the gym, once you click that, it's going to start making an alert and that way you can easily find it if it's lost somewhere in the close or near vicinity to you. So that is how you can use lost my iPhone or track my iPhone. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you do it. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.